All right, guys, so I'm going to do a quick example on Delta Math for the assignment that you have to do. And we are going to find the midpoint. Um, the midpoint is the middle of a segment, the middle of a line. So I want to show you how to do this on Delta Math because it can get confusing, but it's actually really easy. So let's go ahead and start with this example right here. It says, find the midpoints, the midpoint of points A, negative 8, positive 2, and B, negative 5, 10, graphically. Um, there is a formula you can use, but I also want you to be able to kind of think about this and be able to do it on a graph. So it says, plot the line segment AB by clicking twice on the graph. So we got to plot AB. A is the negative 8, comma 2. So I'm going to go over here. Negative 8 is my x-axis. And positive 2 is my y-axis. So there's my first point. The next point is negative 5, 10. So now I'm going to go to negative 5 on the x-axis right here. And my y is 10. So I'm going to go all the way up to 10. So I have plotted AB. And now it says click and drag to draw a rectangle with the segment as a diagonal. So notice right here, I'm going to have to draw a rectangle that um, has this as a diagonal. So I'm going to click this corner and I'm going to hold and I'm going to draw a rectangle around it like this. Um, let's say you do that wrong. Just click remove rectangle. Um, now remember, the rectangle has to be on the points. Like this would be wrong. So let me remove it. It has to have the diagonals like this. The diagonal has to be in the rectangle. Now, it says click the graph to plot the midpoint. Now we got to find the middle of this rectangle. And this is where we're going to use some reasoning scales. Um, look at this. The rectangle is three units long. What's halfway of three units? It's right here in the middle. And then from 2 to 10, what's the height of the rectangle? The height is 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight. The height is eight, and we're gonna go to the middle of eight. So what's the middle of eight? Four. So I'm gonna go down four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna go to the middle, right there. So there is the middle or the midpoint of my segment. So let's go ahead and put, plot that point down here. Um, that's in between negative six and negative seven, which is gonna be negative. 6.5 and then my y coordinate was at positive 6. And there we go. Again, we used the reasoning. The length of the rectangle was 3. Halfway from 3 is 1.5. The height of the rectangle was 8. Half of 8 is 4. And so we just plug that in. Let's go ahead and try another example just to kind of get this one. So again, we're given the point 6, negative 10. So I'm going to go to positive 6 and negative 10, which is right here. Make sure you plot those correctly. And then the next point is negative 2, negative 3. So negative 2 on the x-axis and negative 3 on the y-axis. We have to draw our rectangle. you got to click and drag. Otherwise, it won't draw the rectangle. Again, the rectangle has to be right, kind of like the diagonal has to be right in the middle. And we need to find the midpoint. That's why we got this yellow segment. So from 3 to 10, the distance is 7. Half of 7 is going to be 3.5. So that means that to get to the middle, I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, and then 3.5. So I'm at negative 6.5. Now let's look at the um, length of this side right here. From negative 2 to positive 6. The measure of this rectangle is 8, so half of 8 is going to be positive 2. So what's our midpoint? Right there. Um, our x is positive 2, and our y is negative 6.5. Be careful with those negatives, because sometimes you're ten, you might want to think it's negative 7.5, but it's in between negative 6 and negative 7. Again, how did I do that? Well, if this whole side is 8, Halfway of 8 is 4 units, so I moved 4 units from either side. And if the height is 7, what is half of 7? 3.5. So I went down 3.5, or I could have gone up 3.5 to 5. Let's go 
this right. And we did. Good job. All right, guys. Good luck with this. Um, let me know if you have any questions.